Number 7, this is 1990 No S. Lincoln Sand in PR68 red condition. Comes with deep cameo designation from coin grading service of PCGS for high contrast between liquid like fields and frosty reliefs. Among Lincoln Memorial Sands, the 1990 No S is the only missing mint mark proof variety, and the PR68 deep cameo PCGS coin such as a present piece, is generally hotly contested by scent collectors. This one was sold for $2,760. Number 6 here is 1976S Jefferson Nickel and PR70 Deep Cameo Condition. According to Heritage Auction, this white and black representative is devoid of toning and free of flows. The strike is full and the contrast is exceptional. It was sold for $4,230. Number 5 here is 1951 Lincoln Sand and PR68 red cameo condition. This 1951 cent is tied with one another as the finest cameo at PCGS. A single dip cameo at the service falls short at PR67 red. This virtually pristine registry set coin is boldly struck and starkly contrasted, showing rich copper orange color and deeply mirrored fields, completely carbon free. It was sold for $9,987.50. Number 4, this is 1946 Jefferson Nickel, struck on a war nickel planchette, heavily circulated coin with fine 12 grade given by PCGS. From late 1942 through 1945, nickels were struck on silver alloy planchets to conserve copper and nickel for the war effort, including use in manufacturing ammunition casings and gun barrel linings. Since 1946, nickel was struck on a leftover war nickel planchet and displays a distinct antique silver patina when compared to a copper nickel coins of the same date. It was sold for $9,600. Number 3. Here is 1944 Lincoln Sand struck on an experimental planchet graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. During World War II, copper was an important munitions alloy, while silver was not. For example, silver was added to the wartime Jefferson nickel alloy, while copper and nickel were removed. One can speculate that the present scent was intentionally struck as a part of an effort to replace unsuitable 1943 steel cent alloy yet reduce the copper content of 1944 cents. In any event, this coin exists in its possibly unique silver copper alloy. It is lustrous and nicely struck with unmarked surfaces and light golden brown toning. The reverse has a railroad dream near 9 o'clock. It ended up selling for $19,200. Number 2, this is 2001 P Saka Javier dollar mated pair with magnetic 5 gram planchet. A remarkable mated pair mint error that requires elaborate explanation. A wrong metal planchet was mixed in with Saka Javier dollar planchets to be fed between Saka Javier dollar dies. The off metal planchet was similar to Jefferson nickel planchet with a silvery color and weight of 5 grams, but magnetic and Presumably with more nickel than the usual 75% copper, 25% nickel Jefferson alloy. The off-metal planchet, which became coin number one in this mated pair, was fed directly on the top of Sacagawea dollar reverse die cap and broad struck between the obverse die and the reverse die cap. Coin number one indented most of the upper half of the obverse of coin number two, which has normal reverse. This lot of mated pair ended up selling for $20,400. Number 1, and here is phenomenally toned wartime quarter dollar, 1943 Washington quarter in MS68 condition, previously from George's Army collection according to Heritage. The large wartime mintage of this Philadelphia quarter was nearly 100 million coins, but this phenomenal MS68 example is tied with only five other pieces for the finest certified of the issue at the PCGS. Waves of iridescent color occupy both sides with gold, olive, crimson and indigo among them. It was sold for $23,000. That's all folks. If you would like to delve deeper in the world of US coins, feel free to explore our other videos available on our YouTube main page. We appreciate your support and we look forward to seeing you again in our future content.
Thanks and God's will until the next time.